Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in my art journal. I am using this beautiful kit from Charlene Warwick and it is called Peace. I've been wanting to do this because I love the background um, paper for this and it's just such a nice kit. I had it printed for a long time and I finally found the right devotional that I think would go perfect with this. And since it's Friday and it's springtime, I just wanted to have some fun in my art journal. This is an art journal book that I have and I have not used this in so long. You guys haven't seen me post a video with this in a long time and I love the paper because it's like this paper bag kind of paper. And I've just used it for word studies um, visually and devotions and different things like that and it has been so much fun to use I just don't use it as often which I will be using it more you know when you have things and you haven't used it in a while and then when you bring it out it's like oh wow I forgot about this that's what I'm feeling right now so I am going to do this page in this art journal I hope you like it and I hope you are inspired by it thank you for watching and remember if I can Bible journal so can you. And I will be reading a devotion from Max Locato regarding John chapter 14, verse 16. And it reads, this is the NIV because this is part of the devotion. I will ask the Father and he will give you another counselor or comforter to be with you forever. And the title of this once again is Peace of Mind and Heart. Take care. I also use the same kit in a zoom craft class that I was in and we would refurbishing or recovering altering paper bags yeah altering paper bags so I used some cardstock and then some of the elements from this piece kit as well so there's just so many ways that you can use kits and uh, make it work for you because I don't believe in just using a kit one time and that's it I use it in many different ways for many different reasons that's something to share with you guys now on to the devotion. I am in Max Lucado's devotion and I will put the title of the book in the description box below. Live Love, Experiencing God's Presence. Peace of Mind and Heart. The way we panic at the sight of change, you'd think bombs were falling on Iowa. Run for your lives, graduation is coming. The board of directors just hired a new CEO. Take cover. Load the women and children into the bus and head north. The department store is going out of business. Change trampolines our lives. And when it does, God sends someone special to stabilize us. On the eve of his death, Jesus gave his followers this promise. When the Father sends the advocate as my representative, that is, the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. I am leaving you with a gift peace of mind and heart and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give so don't be troubled or afraid and that's John 14 26 through 27 New Living Translation as a departing teacher might introduce the classroom to her replacement so Jesus introduces us to the Holy Spirit and what a ringing endorsement he gives Jesus calls the Holy Spirit his representative. The Spirit comes in the name of Christ with equal authority and identical power. Earlier in the evening Jesus has said I will ask the Father and he will give you another counselor or some translations would say comforter to be with you forever. Another counselor slash comforter. Both words shimmer. The Greek language enjoys two distinct words for another. One means totally different. The second translates another just like the first one. When Jesus promises another counselor, he uses word number two, promising, promising another just like the first one. And who is the first one? Jesus himself. I thought that was pretty awesome peace of mind and peace of heart Jesus has left us and he gave us another comforter one just like himself because the Holy Spirit is him in spirit and he's in all of us so it doesn't matter what you're facing it doesn't matter what you're going through Jesus has left you and me a great gift above anything else peace of mind oh what the world would give 
if they just had a peace of mind. Thank you for watching and enjoy the gift that God has given you because the world can't give it. Only you can give it away, but the world can't give it. They can't achieve it. They can't work hard enough to get peace of mind. The more they work, the more they get, the less peace they have because peace only comes through Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching and take care. Thank you for watching. I hope you were inspired and encouraged to do something in a notebook or an art journal. And at the end of this page right here, I will be inserting my digital reflections when I do a page and it isn't enough room for me to write my reflections. I like to journal it digitally with the same kit just to kind of be a companion to the page. Thank you for watching again. Take care. Bye.